Hello, hello. Welcome back to another deck profile. This time I have the purple build that I was talking about in the last video. Um, I chose to run the Millennium on Turbo build, so let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the eggs first. I have three Demi Merimons and two Yamons. Um, I chose to run the two Yamons actually because of the 1000 boost that it gives. Um, it helps with a lot of the Digimons that I have to run over things that it would not normally run over and also makes me confident in some matchups to swing over the security but making sure that nothing is bigger than my 12 case for example in some matchups because they'll become 13 and we have the demi marimons it's probably the best egg for um the purple decks right now just gives you a draw one and discard one when it uh dies and it's an inherit effect um i didn't choose to run four of them because um yeah the boost comes up for me more than I want to I guess cycle through the deck and uh, with this variation we don't really need to fill up the tr uh, trash too much so that's why I'm okay with reducing it to three so next we have the rookies chose to run four vanillas uh, four candlemons and then we have three taper months um taper months probably the best rookie to just start off your turn just evolve him maybe on top of the demi marimon egg and you get to draw two discard one in the next turn if it attacks you just crash in security you do one damage and you get to cycle through your deck um, and if it lives uh that's also good because then your opponent will have to attack it or else you get to hit another security next turn so he's really good that way and next we have three imp mons um three imp mons because i have builds them on in this deck and if any of you are playing purple in the previous format there's a really awesome combo in the late game where you go imp mon evolve into builds them on and straight into millennium on and since this is a millennium on turbo deck we have that there but I'm not playing too many Bilzamons, that's why I'm only running 3. But if you run more Bilzamons, then yeah, it maxes to 4. Next we have 2 Gazimons and 2 Sukaimons to round off the rookies for this deck. I am playing 14, pretty standard uh, number for that. Um, play Gazimon because of the memory stuff so it stops your opponent from gaining memory a lot of the decks right now have heaps of effects that does um, especially the blue hammer spark is still around so if you want to play around hammer spark when attacking for game and they choke you to one if you just have a Gazimon you don't care about the hammer spark in the security anymore um, for the green matchup the Argumon baby it stops that and for the uh, yellow but they have Patamon um, most likely they'll probably get the Gazimon anyway but um, just in case they don't have enough tamers to get this plus your other threats then Gazimon really is good in that situation for red um, you have the only one with just Biomon um, not too many um, Ragnar Lord Mon deck, they can't gain the uh, memory after evolving into Ragnar, so that's really good. And then we just have two Kaimons. We just want value um, more than draw power, that's why I chose to run two Kaimons instead of the Gabumons that purple normally plays. So for this build, I'm choosing to be uh, to have more utility and gaining memory rather than. Uh, drawing and cycling. So that's that for the rookies. 
Next we have the champions, which is four Valmons, four Devimons. This is pretty standard for any purple build in my opinion. You need the blockers for it to just generally good, especially against a rookie rush or just trying to stop game. Um, and Devimon is just really good because he has retaliation himself and Inherit also gives retaliation to whatever Digimon you evolve into this. So that's really good. And to follow that up, he actually played two more retaliation. Um, Saber Drummond, uh, not as good because he doesn't have retaliation himself, but he still gives that inherent retaliation. Um, slightly better than Devimon in a different way, in that it's a four cost to play. So, as you may have seen, if you have seen my other videos, you may have heard me talk about the four cost being really good. When you have one memory and they have a tamer, you can just play this for four. That fits exactly one to three. Or if you have the tamer and they don't, you can just play this and you can choke them to one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of situations where four drops are really good in this format. And then this is a Millennium Turbo, so we're playing the cheapest uh, level evolution cost for fours, which is Marimon. It's a good addition, same as Saber Drummond to the purple deck, coming from 1.5. So yeah, it's just really good in general. And it's just slightly cheaper than what the other colors have as well. Um, like Gorillamon is 6-1, but this is a 5-1. So it's an advantage. It has its advantages in that way. So we're playing 12. Next. Again, with the ultimates, five Skull Mermon. Uh, purple finally gets their uh, vanilla 5 2, just like um, Monzemon back in um, 1.0 format with the blue and Ground Drummond for red and Siren Mon for yellow and so on. I uh, don't remember if there was one for green actually. But yeah, we have Skull Mermon just. Sometimes even just hard playing this is really good because it's cheap 5 and you can uh, evolve straight into your level 6 this next turn. Um, actually happens to me a lot. I just evolve a rookie there and hard play Skull Marimon and it puts pressure already. Um, next, again, continuing with the cheap evolutions, 3 Myotis Mons. Um, I'm only playing 3 because I'm also playing two Chimera Mons. Um, this makes it nine ultimates. Um, what you will notice as well in my build is the ratios of the levels is very similar to how Blue Omnimon and Red Omnimon um, had the ratios in there in that in those decks. Um, so basically, uh, fourteen. Rookies, 12 champions, 9, and then I'll get to the uh, Megas in a second. But yeah, Jamaramon is still a really good utility. A lot of the decks like uh, yellow mostly and red like to keep their level 5s on board ready to evolve into um, Shine Greymon or in red's case Blitz Greymon uh, you know, or just having it there to evolve into their level 7s or whatever they want um, just in case um, you play something and they have to answer it but you can play Gameramon to get rid of that being proactive instead of um, being reacted to so that's where he comes in and yeah again you get to keep a level 5 they lose their level 5 now you're giving them pressure that you're going to be evolving to your level 6 next turn. Um, 7 cost does sound a bit expensive right now, but normally if you both have tamers, you will be at 3. 
and you will just be passing them to four which is one more than normal which is sometimes it's a lot but most of the time it doesn't really matter too much um, next for the megas again cheap so we have Boltmon, similar to Phoenixmon and Plesiomons in the Omni decks. Um, yep, just really good. 12k beater. Sometimes you even just hard play this if you have Millenniumon already. Um, but that's really not ideal, but you can do it. It's an option. And we have two Bilzamons. Um, yeah, I'm not playing too much. I would love to play more, but I'm making space for my other level 6, which is two Venom Myotis Mons. So, this card actually, I really like this card. It puts so much pressure against uh, any opponent right now, um, especially the rush decks like uh, Rookie Rush or Imperial blue but where this card shines the most is actually a green matchup every time they would uh, try to digi use the digisorption ability they would pay one memory so they're not really evolving for free anymore they're evolving for one cost essentially and it also has security plus one so this is why i play the yamon egg if you have yamon under this and you attack the green deck their biggest is Sarasmon which is 12 so making Venom 13 you're guaranteed to be safe from security checks except if they have like Terror Cluster or something like that but yep yeah, once Digimon wise uh, you're safe and a lot of other matchups as well have uh, 12k or less in their security or in their decks in general. So there's that. Then we have three Millennium Ones, pretty much the card that we try to turbo into in this deck. So it's not much to explain with that. Um, and then for options, um, I said it's similar ratios to Blue Omni or Red Omni. They would play Hammer Sparks or Gaia Force back in 1.0, but I chose just two Trump Sword, one Heat Viper, and one Mat. So, what you would normally see in the Red Omni or Purple, uh, Blue Omni, sorry is this would be like four hammer sparks or four Gaia forces and one more tech so instead of the tech I guess we'll count these two as the uh, hammer sparks and Gaia forces and then this will be a tech card um, the red omni decks played the one tamer before um, the blue omni played like volcanic or um, Kakaida's Breath? Yep. Yeah, I think that was the other option, Kakaida's Breath. So yeah, I think this is more closer to the Red Omni ratios, but yeah, that's what I have here. Um, hope you guys liked that and like to try out this really cool deck. Um, I'll just show you one cool line with my favorite card, Venom Iotis Mon. If you just have a any retaliation really, Devimon or Saber Dramon, and they have a Bancho Stingmon, um, they can't really Bancho you anymore because of the retaliation. Uh, so that's the good thing about this deck as well. If you have retaliation under your big guys, they'll be scared to attack it because they will also die. Um, so they have to use other forms of removal. Um, so yeah, this deck is really fun. You guys should try it out. I've been winning a few locals and online tournaments with it too. And yeah, hope you guys like it. And we'll see you next time. I